So why TIG welding? Why is TIG welding so special? Well, one thing that is really cool about a TIG welder, unlike using a stick welder or uh, some sort of a wire feed welder, both of those methods deposit metal uh, as part of the process. You, you can't just use it like a torch. You're always melting metal onto whatever you're doing. And in this case, I don't want to do that. Um, it's not really even welding. It's probably closer to riveting. But uh, when it comes to a TIG torch, if you want to add metal, if you want to add a filler rod, you hold that in your other hand and you bring it in. But you basically treat this just like a torch. And off the tip comes a tiny little flame, and it's going to be hard for you to see. It'll just look really bright. But a tiny little flame comes off that through your welding helmet you can see clearly and uh, it puts down a tremendous amount of heat uh, very very accurately so here's what we got I bent up a sample handle and made note of the stick out I think that's about the right amount now I'm going to see if I can melt those down without breaking the ceramic I'm going to set that up on a bar of steel and that way I know I have Good grounding, and let me get the welder turned on. So that was how I made the first one, just to see was it going to be strong enough. I really expected possibly it to break. I thought maybe I would have to preheat these. But uh, keeping the power up real high on the welder means I can get in and get out real quick. And by doing that, I don't transmit as much heat into the piece, and I think that's why it works well. So here's my next piece. This one is going to get a wooden handle. And so uh, there are two separate pieces that I'm going to go ahead and I'll get them attached here. They probably won't have much movement, but um, there'll be a wooden handle that I'll epoxy on. And we'll try that on. So this is my second attempt. Let me show you how you do it. Let me go ahead and put a just a little clamp on here to hold these steady You can see there is a little bit of smoke left over, but not much, and a quick sponging takes care of it. I haven't tried polishing out the melted little balls yet, but for now, it's working really good. So, I made a walnut handle on the lathe, and I drilled the hole exactly the width of these two rods. So uh, I'll put it on and fill this with epoxy and make sure I wipe it off, but gaps will all be uh, filled, but that will be what it looks like. And I gotta tell you, I'm really, really happy with that. So I'll get glue on that, and I have two more mugs I want to show you. I'm going to do it a little bit differently, but I think that is a success. Flesh. 